¿Qué onda? This is Hector Canales bringing you a quick unboxing review of Target's exclusive Mattel 2017 WWE Hall of Fame figure, Jake the Snake Roberts. Jake comes in a very nice Hall of Fame packaging with a handsome picture of Jake on the side and back. A short bio of Jake on the back, including a small recap of his feud with Ravishing Rick Rude. The back also shows the three other figures in this Hall of Fame series. Previous figures came with one snake, such as this 1990 Hasbro figure and this 2004 Jack Pacific figure. Let's go ahead and unbox it. I find that this series is easier to unbox from the right side. Why don't you something? Snatch a girl out of the front row. Snap her little arm. Play a little game, huh? Well, you don't play no game with my stuff, man. You don't walk on my turf and expect a free ticket out. No, sir. For what I'm about to do to you, for what you have done, there is no jury in the world that will convict me. You see, Mr. Rue, what you found out that fateful night is you put yourself in a heap of trouble, my man, because you twisted one on me that I don't like being touched. You know what I'm saying? I gotta have you. That's what I gotta have. And you know something else, Mr. Rude? You found out that you're not enough man for my woman. You found that out real quick, didn't you? Huh? Well, I'll tell you something. Now you're gonna find out Let's that smell you're him. not near enough man for me. Ah, oh, he smells great. Brand new toy. This is Jake the Snake unboxed. He's got the regular articulation of every Mattel elite figure. He is wearing the same tights he wore on the October 29th edition of Saturday Night's main event. As you see, that part is very detailed. His boots are very detailed. On that night of Saturday night's main event, he wrestled Ravishing Rick Rude. Then, Andre the Giant stepped in and they started their feud. Let's take a look at Jake's snakes. He comes with two. They're nice and rubbery, stretchy. Neither of them have paint decal. It would have been nice that instead of giving us revelations here, they would have given us a bag to hold Damien in. I honestly don't think it really looks like him other than he's got that mustache, that signature mustache. Um, nah, it, even the hair, if you look at the hair, the way it's pasted on there, no, he's got like a Dean Ambrose comb, front comb over. I don't, I don't really think it looks like him. Sure, he's got a scowl on the figure and he's smiling right there, but still. It looks like he's been doing a lot of CrossFit. Now that's not the way I remember Jake the Snake Roberts. Maybe he looks like that now because of DDP yoga, but not in 1990. Unfortunately, it seems like someone messed up down in Mattel and they gave him Ravishing Rick Rude's body. Come on, come on. The Hall of Fame series before this, they had given Million Dollar Man this body. Why couldn't they give Jake the Snake that same body? instead of giving him Ravishing Rick Rude's body. Come on. Are you gonna tell me that in 1990, Hasbro made the best Jake the Snake figure? 1990, in 2017, they couldn't do any better? 2004, they did somewhat all right, but it still does not compare to the 1990, 1990 Hasbro Jake the Snake figure. They all came with a snake, Heck, even the Jack Pacific one came with a little bag that you could bring him in. This 2017 Jake the Snake figure comes with two snakes. He doesn't look like him. His body doesn't look like him. Look at this likeness. This looks like Jake the Snake Roberts. In conclusion, I don't recommend that you get this Jake the Snake Roberts figure because it doesn't look like him. It doesn't. Unless you really love Jake the Snake. I love Jake the Snake, so I got him. I'm not too happy with the figure, but... Was uh, Jake the Snake. Please join us again for our next quick unboxing review 